hey guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be meal prepping for the month so let's get into it first things first i usually start with making garlic paste uh, because we use it to marinate uh, some of the meats so for the garlic paste we i use ginger garlic uh, water and oil the water is just to help loosen the mixture and the oil helps to make sure that the garlic paste does not turn green then we blend it into a paste and um, put it in a container if it's too much we divide and freeze some of it this will probably last us about two to three weeks because we use a lot of garlic paste in this house. And next, I uh, marinate the chicken. We eat a lot of chicken in this house. So I usually buy my chicken in bulk from city market. I buy the chicken legs and they cut for me into three pieces then I marinate with just salt and the garlic paste it's just a basic marination to help us uh, save time so when we want to cook the chicken we don't need to marinate it we just let it fall then um, we proceed unless we want to add more spices then we'll do that After marinating the chicken, I usually uh, batch them into four because we eat chicken once uh, every week. So I divide them into four Ziploc bags. Then I flatten the bags because I usually put them in one uh, acrylic container just for neatness and organization in the freezer and also to catch any drippings if any from the chicken so this also makes it easy for us to clean the freezer when we want to do so We also eat fish once every week, a whole fish for that we get from Victory Farms Limited. We just clean it, salt it, then deep fry and then we let them cool down fast. Next I do the veggies. We, we love a lot of broccoli in this house so for the broccoli i separate the florets then we boil a little in salty water and i'm just pouring hot water to cut down the cooking time and then as that is uh, cooking i'll also be preparing uh, carrots to mix with the uh, cauliflower As soon as the, as the water starts boiling, the broccoli uh, are ready. So I remove them from the hot water and put them in cold water to stop the cooking. 
so that they don't become soggy and then in the same same water i add my carrots to boil just a bit they should still have a bit of crunch in them do not overcook them so here i am just uh, draining that water because it has come become hot and adding more cold water to stop the cooking after that we put them on a tea towel and let them uh, dry next we make samosas we eat lots of samosas in this house so i prefer just making once a month instead of every time uh, we want to eat them for breakfast so to prevent the samosas from sticking we usually dust them with flour uh, before putting them in the containers Now that the fish are fully uh, cooled down, I wrap indi them individually in cling film. Then we are going to put this in the freezer. Next, I also uh, separate so uh, sausages for the month. Then we put them in these Tupperware containers. Uh, even though they look like they are crowded, it's super easy to remove them once we want to use them. We usually just remove the Tupperware containers from the freezer, uh, let them sit out for a few minutes, then we shake them, and then the sausages will become loose for us to pick the number that we want. So since um, they cannot all fit in the containers, the rest I usually wrap with the clean film according to how many we eat. The next day, I make the dough for mandazi and mahamri's. So I have a recipe for mahamri's on my channel. I'll link the video in the description box. I just like making my work and also my... Um, house help work easier so i don't have to keep making the dough the night before we eat for the mahamri dough i use i use my uh, mixer and as that mixes i usually also make my mandazi dough i also have a mandazi recipe here on my channel once that is done i don't allow uh, i don't let the mahamri dough to to proof or rise so i usually just go straight into dividing it into four because we eat mahamri every once uh, a week divide it into four equal batches then i uh, label them so that we don't confuse uh, mahamri and mandazi dough i label them then i freeze
that's basically it guys that's what we do to make our uh, meals easier let me know if you meal prep and what you do differently thank you for watching bye